So after purchasing Ableton Live 10, I'm just going to download the version compatible with my system. Right, so now the library's finished downloading. I can run the installer file. <laughs> the icon for the installer doesn't even show up, it's literally just there. And then go through the install prompt. I simply drag that into my application folder. First time you open it, it'll verify and then ask you to authorize your version. As I've already registered this copy, I can just click on this and it should run itself quite quickly. As easy as that. Right, when Ableton first opens, um, it should load the default tutorial pack. It's really worth going through this because it teaches you a lot about the new features and as well as just generally using the application. Um, the best thing to do is go up to preferences and set up your audio driver if you've got an external audio device. This is good for input and output. You can also assign your plugins folders here and scan your directory to ensure your plugins are loaded in. One of the things I like to do in Ableton is change the colour of the skin because sometimes you can find it a little bit odd, the colour scheme they use. So I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.